So basically what I'm going to talk about is uh, these, um, it's called RAN and it's a RAS super family protein uh, called RAN. So there's a whole bunch of them in the RAS super family and they all start with R and they're three letters long. So what it is, is a monomeric GTPase, meaning that by virtue of being a GTPase, it cleaves GTP into GDP with a phosphate, right? Hence, GTP is triphosphate, uh, DP is diphosphate. So it cleaves it, that is its purpose. Right now, I'm trying to teach myself how it works in this cycle along with GAP, uh, GTPase activating protein, and GEF, guanine exchange factor. So I'm drawing myself a little diagram to help me remember, and I thought, fuck it, I'll just record it. <laughs> that doesn't even, why? Okay, so, uh, I remember learning a lot when he was going over this and in the review session. So basically, I started drawing this cycle that's shown in my textbook right there. So I'm drawing it again because it helps me learn when I draw the stuff or, you know, emphasize it by utilizing my hand. So we have, this is like a pore, right? And this is where the RAN uh, GDP and RAN GTP are going to cycle in and out of the nucleus because this part, if I would draw the channel like that, okay, so, yeah, I write in the book, um, and then it goes like this, and it's got, uh, the nuclear envelope has two layers, right, and then there's another weird channel protein thing like that clearly I was not meant for art it's a good thing I like science so there's that all right so out here is the cytosol and in here is the nucleus got it okay so we know that there's this cycle between um, RAN GDP and RAN GTP. Um, so, and RAN is the GTPase. So, what does that mean, right? Um, the green parts are the actual proteins. Um, when does it, so RAN gap, okay, that's where it gets kind of confusing. So, this, there's this little thingy happening here. Uh, when it's coming out of the nucleus and it's ran GTP, meaning it has energy that we can utilize, um, you know, these two separate molecules, it's called ran GTP, but it's ran and GTP. So, um, and it's, it's because ran is a GTPase, but it sucks. So it needs these two accessory proteins in order to be efficient, right? It needs the rat, the, um the GTPase activating protein GAP and GEF, the guanine exchange factor. So it needs those two things. So uh, RAN GAP, that happens right around here. It's got these cute little lines. Uh, I guess that indicates activity. And it's RAN GAP. And it's, it's like this little protein, right? So it's doing something, and what happens is, what comes off is a phosphate. So, okay, what happens when you have GTP and then guanine, sorry, GTPase activating protein happens, it, ex it, oh, that's the GTPase, not a RAN. So I have a note that says this is not a RAN. Oh, because the, okay, so see how here where it says RAN gap, it's saying who's, what kind of gap is it? So it's a GTPase activating protein, 
but it's for ran. Get it? So this is not ran. This is ran. This is not ran. These green thingies are ran. So it's so this is this is ran GTP. Okay. So we're learning this together. So this is not a ran. Not a ran. This little blue guy. And same over here. There's some activity going on. Do, do, do. Like an automatopoeia. Ran. GIF. And that's the guanine activating factor. But it's not ran. It's just GIF. But it's whose GIF? Ran's GIF. Okay. And apparently this puppy is attached to uh, chromatin. La, 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 la. Chromatin. So it's showing the chromatin like all wonky. So this is. And what's chromatin? Genetic information. Chromatin is uh, basically unfolded chromosomes. And because we all know that unless you're going through mitosis or meiosis, your genetic information isn't wrapped up in pretty little X's, you know. At or Y, you know, with one little Y and half a population. So it's chromatin when you're not uh, nice and organized in a chromosome. Okay, so that's Rand Geff. It's a guanine uh, act, uh, exchange factor. So what else do we need to talk about? Not a ran. Not a ran. It's a Geff. It's a gap. Okay, what is it doing? Guanine exchange factor. So what its job is supposed to be is to exchange GDP for GTP, which would explain why in the diagram in my book it goes like this, and it says, fuck off, GDP. And it says, well, it's in a little box. So. <laughs> I think it's funny how we idealize these things as like boxes and circles and stuff when that's like literally the farthest thing from what they look like. And then they bring in, like this, a GTP. And then it gets stuck onto the RAN. So guanine exchange factor. Guanine exchange factor is exchanging the guanine for a different guanine. Get it? GDP for GTP. Okay. It just turned my flash off, so I wonder if it's gonna let me play. Okay, well, hopefully you guys can still be uh, working with that. Okay, moving on. Oh, or I could just be really nice and sup light. Okay, so anyway, um, so that's what happens there. These are two separate molecules, ran and the GTP. Um, the ran. GTPase, okay, so we got rid of our, the gap, um, GTPase, I'm not looking at my notes, so I, this is how I'm like quizzing myself, GTPase activating protein, yes, okay, triggers GTP hydrolysis, that is critical, so triggers, so this, this thingy triggers GTP Hydrolysis. What does that mean? Hydrolysis. It uses water to chop something off. So it hydrolyzed off the phosphate. That's why this happened and the phosphate group got cleaved. Okay? That's why now we have GDP. It's very straightforward, right? When you get when you when you get into the details. So cytosol nucleus. What's happening here? This is still cytosol. This is still nucleus. That don't get confused by the arrows. It's just, it's just arrows showing a, pro a dynamic process. Um, yep. Localization of RAN GDP in the cytosol and RAN GTP in the nucleus results from the localization of two RAN regulatory proteins, RAN GTPase activating protein or RAN GAP. Um, is located in the cytosol and ran guanine nucleotide exchange factor, ran GEF, binds to chromatin is therefore located in the nucleus. Duh. 
DNA is always only in the nucleus, right? Brand GDP is imported into the nucleus by its own import receptor, which is specific for the GDP bound conformation of RAN. The RAN GDP receptor is structurally unrelated to the main family of nuclear transport receptors. However, it is also it also binds to FG repeats in the nucleoporin um, complex channel nucleoporins.